What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 42 in the Math 1 released items that North Carolina released this past school year. This question gives us the weights of a few different species of bears, and it asks us to analyze this data, take out the weight of the polar bear, and then analyze that data and see what the difference is in the mean and the median. So the big skill that this question is testing is comparing mean and median, and we'll also have to talk a little bit about the idea of an outlier. So to get started with this, I've gone ahead and already typed in all of this set of data into my stat edit menu. So I would press stat, press edit, and I would come here and type these in. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. I already have all eight of these typed in, so I just need to press stat again, go right to the calculate menu, click one variable statistics, and see what it comes up with. All right, so my mean is 369 and 375 hundredths. And then my median is 290. So let me go ahead and write a quick statement about before. My mean or X bar is 369 and 375 hundredths. And my median is 290. So that was before. And now I need to remove the weight of the polar bear and see how that changes the data. So I go to stat, edit, polar bear was a thousand pounds, so I find 1,000 and just press the delete key. It gets rid of it automatically. Go back to stat, calc, one variable stats, press enter. And so now here's my mean, my new mean, 279 and 286 hundredths. Then my median, I can keep scrolling down until I find that it's 280. So the answer choices, now that we're ready to look at those, seem to all be interested in how much the mean decreases and how much the median decreases. So 369 to 279, that's a difference of about 90. So let me use a green marker for that. Mean decreased by about 90. The median decreased by exactly 10. So the mean decreased more than the median. So anything that says the mean decrease is less than the median is out as a possible answer choice. So now we have the mean decreases more than the median because the polar bear is a high outlier and the mean decreases more than the median because the high value balances the low value. All right, so the phrasing of this choice doesn't even make sense. And it doesn't make sense because, um, because I don't know something, and it, if it doesn't make sense to you, it's not because there's something you don't know. It doesn't make sense because it just doesn't. So C is out. Choice A is our only answer left, but I do want to talk about the idea of an outlier. So when it says the polar bear is a high outlier, uh, that doesn't mean anything inappropriate or illegal. It just means that its weight is very, very far outside of the, of the general cluster of the rest of the weights um, and on the high side of that. So like the highest weight was the brown bear at 550 until the polar bear, polar bear at 1000 came in. And what specifically a high outlier means is that a high outlier drags the mean out much more than the median. Because essentially, if, if this is our data set, the median is going to be the exact middle number, and that's right about here. The mean, however, is like the balance point. And if we think of this like a scale, even a little bit of weight placed all the way over here will drag that balance point to the right. So getting rid of that knocked our, knocked our mean down by a lot and our median down by just a little bit because it was kind of rewriting that balance. So that's why we can use the definition of outlier to say that A is the correct answer because the high outlier made the mean increase more and when we took it away, the mean decreased more. 